hope you enjoy your time here today. John Rosa is going to be your guide. Oh, uh, uh, John Rosa. Hey, John. Nice, nice to meet you. Hi. What's the first name? Allie. Allie, nice to meet you. Sean. Sean and Jessica. And Jessica. Del. Del? Connie. Connie. Again, my name is John Rosa, and welcome to Rombauer Vineyards. And what we're going to be doing is just kind of walking down and through the gardens. And so, if you guys like, just follow me. So this is Joan Rombauer's little rose garden. She'd come in and plant flowers all the time. And throughout the years, we've just kind of built it up. As you can see around, it's, it's filled in quite, quite good. You guys are going to experiment with a lot of things that are probably really new, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So just kind of working your taste buds and having a good time. Well, this is a good spot. This kind of gets, it's a little open. The guys are working right now. Predominantly what we're wanting to do is have phenomenal fruits. We have the wonderful product. It's a little bit more of an old school method. So if it's not broken, don't fix it. It stays at about, say, 55, 60 degrees down here, which is perfectly ideal for, for red wine. It's probably about a total of about 52,000 square foot of caves right now. So We have barrels coming out of France. There's barrels coming out of Eastern Europe, so Hungarian. There's Russian oak. Um, and they're all a little bit different. I know we're using uh, a certain style of French oak for our Merlot that comes off a little bit spicy, a little smoky characteristic. So the, bar the barrels do play a big role in it, um, about 10% um, as far as you know, putting that nice flavor component on. But it's like anything else, you have to start with a very, very good product and then just definitely take care of it. And uh, that's the Napa Valley for you. Rombauer is highly noted for our Chardonnay as well, so we're going to start you off with a nice American cultured Chardonnay. Um, we're, uh, we're very happy with it right now. What I'd like to do is warm you up with um, some phenomenal cheeses. What we're working with is cheeses from all around the world. We're going to start off with the first one, it's a Latour uh, from Piedmont. We've been doing a lot of wonderful domestic cheeses as well. There's wonderful imports, but uh, we do have a, a Gafton two-year-old Vermont cheddar that's gonna rock your world. Our 04 Atlas Peak Cabernet, this is a really nice high-end cab. We're starting to get into Rombauer's Cabernets now. This is a 250 case production, 10 barrel selection. Um, it's grown up 1,200 feet elevation on a Dublin loom-based clay soil. Um, plays with wonderful little mycolimus up on throughout the top. So what we're talking about is what's really producing these phenomenal grapes. So what do you think, Sean? I like that one. Well, wait till the next one here. This next one is gonna, it's gonna light you up here. This is coming, it's a seven-year-old Gouda. We're gonna keep it coming, baby. You like it, you like that. Saving the best red for last here. We're gonna just kind of work it up the ladder. This is called Le Mets du Chais. In translation, in English, this means the best of the sellers. So, Le Mid du Chais, we've done this 10 times out of 30 years of being in business, and it's got to be absolutely perfect. Yeah, the, uh, as you can see, the wine is uh, set off by any kind of food. So, whether it's bread or crackers, cheese, or as you go into a full meal, it really takes it to another level and uh, adds layers uh, and makes it taste completely different. Hopefully, I had a good time. Hopefully you'll have good good runs uh, this weekend coming up. Be nice and warm for you. <laughs>